Hey everyone, Voxide here. I'm gonna show you how I made the branch animation effect that I made in my latest upload, which is this effect. You have this sort of branch forming and curling up against the ladder, so... Yeah, I know I had some people ask me how I made it, so I thought I might as well do a tutorial on how I did it, so... The first thing we'll need is a spline, and I'm gonna use a cubic spline. I'm gonna go in the top view and you know just make some random random looking spline just I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it really simple just for the sake of the tutorial but you can make this spline however you want it doesn't really matter I'm just gonna move the points around a little so we have something like that just something really standard doesn't have to be really complex but whatever you can make it however you want then we'll add a cylinder and we're gonna add a uh, spline wrap uh, deformer to it so drop the spline under the cylinder to make it work and for the spline we're gonna use the spline that we made so by default this is this is how it looks but you have to go in your spline wrap options and you have to set the axis to let's see I think yeah plus y so then we need to add some uh, height subdivisions for our cylinder in order for it to bend accordingly to the spline so just just add some height segments I don't know it doesn't really have to be really really detailed because we're gonna drop this into a hyper nerves but yeah just just add a few segments and we can take the rotation segments down a little something like I don't know let's say well 16 this should work, we'll see. We can always just come back and change it if we don't like it, so. Uh, and then we're gonna uh, drop the cylinder into, we're gonna group the cylinder into a null object. So you can press Alt G on your ladder for this to work. And as you can see, it dropped it into a null and then we're gonna use a MoGraph effector the random effector we're gonna drop the random effector in all null but before the cylinder so it's it's not a parent of the cylinder but it's, it's a child of the null uh, the same way that cylinder is and we're gonna go to the random effector we're gonna go to deformer and we're gonna set this to point mode so by default it does that and um, it's a little extreme we're gonna change the parameter, the position parameters. Let's try five by five by five, just for the just for starters. So we just get a little uh, randomness in our spline wrap cylinder, just just so it looks more like a like a real branch, you know, just makes it look a little more interesting. But yeah, you don't really have to do this if you don't want to. But I thought this was something that it's worth doing. It adds. Uh, a really cool effect to it and yeah and then we can drop this into a hypernums or the null we're gonna set this to one by one and by default it looks like this we can uh, uh, randomize it a little more just so we have a more interesting effect going on I don't know something something like that if we add more subdivisions to our Cylinder is gonna look a little better, so let's try 25 and 32 and then drop the uh, the position a little down Something like some something like that. I don't know. I'm not gonna spend a little That much time, you know tweaking it. You can do this however you want, but yeah, that's the main idea so ne uh, Then we have to go to our spline wrap. We go to our size tab and uh, we have to drop the this curve to you know model it model it to look like a real branch so we do it something like something like that drop this point all the way down and then use your handles to uh, give it a little curve to it and make it look the way you want so this this is going to be our main branch basically i'm going to rename this main branch and so now we have our main branch and we need to animate the spline wrap modifier so we need to animate the from parameter as you can see this is what it does so i'm gonna go to frame zero i'm gonna set the keyframe for the from parameter at 100 percent 
Then I'm gonna go to around frame 40. I'm gonna set this to zero and add a keyframe. So pretty simple so far. This is the animation that we have and um, let's make the smaller branches now. For that, we're gonna be using a hair simulator. So you go to simulate, go to hair objects, add hair. And uh, in order for this to work, we we need a geometry that doesn't change it. So since this is animated, the geometry changes and that's not what uh, we want because it messes up our hair. So we have to make a, so we have to create a dummy of this object right here that doesn't have the animation. So we're gonna do that by copying our null object. Yeah, just control click and uh, drag it down below and this is gonna be our dummy branch, dummy main branch. Then we're gonna right click on it and uh, choose current state object. Now we can delete it and we're left with uh, this object right here which is just this. It's not animatable and we can, uh, we're, we're gonna hide our main branch for just a, a second there. So this is just our cylinder. Now oh, we name this one to main branch dummy and this is uh, the object that we're gonna use to reference uh, in our hair. So you go to hair, you go to guides and in the link tab you're gonna uh, drag the main branch dummy. So this is what it gives us by default. And uh, th these are the hair guides that uh, we're gonna edit in order to make them look like uh, branches. By default if I play this you can see yeah they all they have dynamics by default and they just fall down but we don't really want that and we don't really want them to be that smooth because that's not how real branches behave so we're gonna set the segment to something like five just uh, and that's this will make them uh, simulate a little stiffer they're gonna be a little stiffer as you can see still a little too soft I'm gonna try four segments see what that gives us so this is pretty pretty all right I guess I don't know you can play around with this if you want Alright, so let's uh, edit some parameters here. We're not gonna need this big of a count, especially if just for the sake of this tutorial. I'm just gonna use like 100, I guess. Okay, maybe more than that. Let's try 150, nah, even more, 250. Yeah, I think this, this will do just for the sake of the tutorial. You can uh, mess around until you get something you want in the length. One, yeah, let's say 125 should do and then we're gonna go to editing and regrow them just uh, regrow sort of refreshes the hair so yeah uh, go to your hair tab go to roots and set the root to as guides this is really important so make sure you do that then we go to general uh, we don't need render hairs and we're gonna set the type to uh, what was it I think it was circle yeah circle and this generates geometry using uh, our uh, guides. So it uses the guides to generate uh, a circle geometry sweeped around each of the guide individually. And if we go to our hair material, we can add a little kink, which, you know, just displaces the guides a little. We don't need specular or color. We are gone, we're interested in the thickness and let's make this a little thicker at the base I don't know, not, not so much let's try it, let's try it 10 10 should work yeah, I think I think this is alright you know, you can change the parameters however you want but yeah so the great thing about hair is that you can just simply go and you can grab your hair tools let's see, hair selection tool we're gonna need hair tools and yeah, that's that's. I think we we're fine with this. So just go to your rectangle selection tool, and you can just delete whatever hairs you don't want. You know, and you can grab. Let's delete those ones as well. So you can just grab your hair guides and just scale them. You know, model them however you want. Uh, let's see. We can take for example the ones in the front and scale them up so you know you know you, you just model this 
however, however you want to make it look believable or for whatever purposes. So we end up with something like this. So in order to make our uh, smaller branches, I'm just gonna rename these ones small branches. In order for these to to make these uh, branches grow, we are gonna use the hair material for that. So we're gonna uh, uh, turn the length mode active, and uh, we're gonna go to wherever our uh, this this animation ends. And uh, we can hide the main branch dummy. We don't really need this one anymore. So as you can see, the main branch starts uh, stops ends the animation at 40. So we have to time our uh, second branches to grow at 40. So at 40, we're gonna make a keyframe at the length. So right here, we're gonna set this to zero, make a keyframe go to, I don't know, 55, let's say, and set this to 100, make another keyframe. So we end up with something like, that looks like this. So this is the animation that we have so far. As you can see, it's looking, it's looking decent. Let's say I'm satisfied with how this looks and we can move on. Now, uh, for the leaves, we're gonna use the same technique, but we have to reference a dummy of the smaller branches. So we, we need to make a dummy of this. Just just copy, click and drag below uh, and let's rename this one small branches dummy. And uh, in order to delete the animation from the smaller branches dummy, we need to make a new material for it because the material is the one that contains our animation. So just duplicate the material, rename this material hair mat, I don't know, let's say small branch dummy it doesn't really matter so on this material we're gonna disable the length and uh, go to right click the parameter and delete track so we are so now we have oh uh, yeah yeah we have to apply the new material that we made to our smaller branches so now we have this that's right from the beginning but uh, yeah we don't want to see those we want to see our uh, main original the smaller branches and uh, now we, we use the same technique to make our leaves but just just a little different so go to simulate again uh, hair objects add hair rename this one leaves go to guides 100 I think is gonna be fine and we're gonna reference our small branches dummy it's really important to reference your dummy so by default this is what it gives us I mean the count is it could work, but you know, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just gonna use like 500, just something a little smaller, maybe, maybe, let's say 800. For the segments, we're gonna need, I don't know, around five segments. I, I think that will work fine. Uh, length, we don't need them that big. We're gonna choose like 25, maybe, I don't know, 30, 35, let's say. You, you can modify this however you want. Now, if we go to hairs. Uh, we set the root to as guides and then we go to generate we don't need render hairs and we're gonna use um, flat yeah so flat and now we have to uh, edit our leaves material so rename this one leaves we're not gonna use color specular we're just gonna play around with thickness so let's see if we if we add some thickness to it, this is how it looks. Now the the trick with this is that we have to use the curves to we have to use the curve to modify how our leaves are gonna look. And you can write you can uh, control left click to add another button. And as you can see, this this is sort of the effect we're getting here. So something like this, something like this. I don't know. You can add another point and just just modify the leaves however you want however you want them to look i mean that's this is completely up to you and just up the root scale a little and yeah we end up with something that looks kind of like kind of like this now the great thing about using hairs instead of a cloner when you know you're trying to make a branch is that you you have dynamic supply to it and you know it makes it look a little a way more realistic when it comes down to you know animation so it looks really it looks good to me and um, 
now we just have to animate our leaves to grow so we're going to use the same technique that we use for our smaller branches we're going to go to frame 55 where the branches complete their animation we're going to go to our material uh, turn on length set this to zero make a keyframe go to frame i don't know around 75 i think set this to 100 make another keyframe and we end up with something that looks like this So yeah, this works. This works for me. You can play around with it until you get the effect that you want, and uh, we can drop the leaves into a hypernerves just to make it look a little smoother. So you end up with something like that. And if you want to change the materials for the leaves and the branches, you just make a new material, and you drop this on the hypernerves or whatever the leaves after the hair material and you can make this whatever material material you want I'm gonna add a little specular make this I don't know you know green or something and for the main branch and our other smaller branches we're gonna make uh, you know brownish material kinda look a little specular and yeah this is what you, we end up with and this is this is how I did the effect in the video so yeah looking pretty good also you can edit the leaves you know you can modify the length of uh, the leaves and you end up with something that looks like this so yeah it, it, the hair is really powerful and I definitely recommend you Play around one more with it, see how what kind of effects you come up with, and you know it's definitely worth looking at and experimenting with. All right, guys, so that's about it. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below, and I will try my best to answer them. Also, if you can like or share, subscribe, it would really help me a lot. So that's it for now. Peace.